Hello and welcome to the Stars of Physics. How are you? I hope that all of you are doing well. In this video, we shall see how to measure angles in degrees and also what are coterminal angles. Consider a circle whose center is the uh, origin of the Cartesian coordinate system. And we have this our x axis, positive x axis, negative x axis, that is x and x prime and y-axis, positive y-axis along upper direction and this downward direction we have negative x-axis that is y prime. Then whenever we want to measure any angle then by convention we have to consider the angles in anti-clockwise direction. So that means a direction which is uh, opposite to the clock anti-clockwise direction. So if I consider this to be x-axis then I have to start from this x-axis and I have to measure some angle say I have to measure some angle theta for example then this angle will be considered as theta and since we have started from this point that is our x-axis and we moved up to this point therefore this much angle we will call it as a positive angle since we are moving in anti-clockwise direction we call it as a positive direction so this will become nothing but what theta now like that we can move this angle all together to again back to this x-axis so from here we have started at 0 degree and the same point will end at 360 degrees so they become co-terminal angles 0 degree and 360 degree Now uh, I had uh, already drawn this figure to understand uh, these different angles say uh, uh, we have started from x axis and we move in a clockwise direction so we have this first angle we have it is 30 degrees uh, say this will be nothing but what our 0 degrees then this divides this x and y axis exactly in the middle. So therefore this angle will be nothing but what 45 degrees then this angle will be 60 degree then we have to add 30 in this so we get 90 degrees then add 30 in this so it will be 120 degrees add 30 in this so that will move to this one not this one okay so this will be nothing but what this will be a 150 degrees then add 30 in this so it will be 180 degrees then again add 30 into this so it will be 210 degrees then again add 30 in this so it will be 240 degrees then add 30 in this so it will be 270 degrees then again add 30 here so it will be 300 degrees then again add 30 here so it will be 330 degrees and the at the end we get what 360 degrees so 0 degree and 360 degrees they are the same okay now this is 45 degree so we have just added 15 in this 30 here so similarly here we have to add 15 in this 120 so it will be 135 degrees then here we have to add 15 in 210 so it will be 225 degrees and here we have to add 15 in 300 so it will be 315 degrees so these will be the angles uh, when we measure them in the clockwise direction now if we measure them in the anti this they, they will be positive here now if we measure them in the anti-clockwise direction say for example if i measure this angle to be the in the anti-clockwise direction say it will be minus uh, 30 degrees minus 30 degrees so you can get this angle as what minus 30 which is nothing but what 360 degrees plus minus 30 degrees so it comes out to be equal to 330 degrees okay so like that uh, we can measure these uh, different angles here now there are certain angles they are like uh, they are known as co-terminal angles say for example if i consider 30 degree 30 degrees 
and 390 degrees okay these are nothing but what co-terminal angles because see here for getting 30 degree i have to just move from here to here okay and for getting 390 degrees what i have to do is i have to move like this then it will become 360 and then again this much so it will become nothing but what 390 degrees so therefore they are nothing but what they are known as co-terminal angle because 30 degree and 390 degree they will be same okay so uh, to get these co-terminal angles so if the given angle is a positive angle if the given angle is a positive angle and if it is greater than 360 positive angle and moreover it is greater than 360 degrees then in that case we have to keep on subtracting 360 from that so that finally we will reach to a point where that angle falls within the 0 to 360 range limit now to find out co-terminal angles there is a specific process for example i will consider say some angle say 1110 degree for example okay now this angle is nothing but what this angle is a positive angle and moreover it is greater than what 360 degrees so these two things are there so if the ang given angle is a positive angle and if it is greater than 360 degree what we have to do is we have to keep subtracting 360 until we get some angle which is in between 0 to 360 degree some theta value which is in between 0 to 360 degree so we have to keep subtracting here 360 degree so i will subtract 360 from here so what we will get we will get it as a 750 degree again i will subtract 360 from this so we will get 390 degrees again subtract 360 from this so we will get 30 degrees now this 30 is in between what 0 to 360 degrees so we will stop here now all these angles that is nothing but what 110 uh, sorry uh, 1110 degrees then 750 degrees 390 degrees and 30 degrees all of them they are called as what co-terminal angles suppose there is a negative suppose there is a negative angle say minus 1110 degree then to find out co-terminal angles what we have to do is we have to keep adding 360 in this so that finally we should reach in between what some theta value which is in between 0 to 360 degrees so i will add here 360 in this 360 degree so uh, what it will be it will be minus 750 degrees again i will add 360 in this so what it will be it will be minus 390 degrees again i will add 360 in this so we will get 330 degrees now see here 330 is nothing but what in between a 0 to 360 degrees so we will stop here they are called as what co-terminal angles okay i hope that you understand uh, this i will give some homework you can give the answer in the comment find out all the co-terminal angles for say 1140 say 1140 degrees for this one find out all co-terminal angles and also for minus 1140 degrees find out all co-terminal angles so find co-terminal angles for these okay so you can write them in the comment section i hope that you understand this uh, if you like our videos do like subscribe share and comment thank you very much